Marth versus Sonic. The ultimate rivalry. Uh, what else can I say that's a similar? Marth versus Sonic, Tug versus Kraftis, uh, Glasses versus No Glasses, White versus Black. Uh, that's my, that might be a little too racially charged. Nah, dude. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> That's pretty much what the United States is in right now. Uh, yeah. Disgusting race war. With Joey Salads. Yo, did you watch that debate last night? How, how, how'd you like that? I did watch it. I watched all of it. Oh. I didn't enjoy it at all. I'm just kidding. I didn't watch it. Uh, it wasn't even that entertaining, honestly. It's not. It wasn't even that stupid. Like, I expect a lot more stupidity, but like at this point, again, I'm not trying to buy us. Sorry. Disclaimer, none of these statements are political or made by HSG or anybody here. The statements do not reflect uh, HSG views in any way. Only me. <laughs> I, I gotta actually say that. Everything you have said is HSG. Oh my god. So close already. 119 is blessed, so he's definitely gonna win the set now. That's um, good. Nice spot dodge. That's spot dodge. That's gonna win the set. Oh, uh, that was really weird. How did that... Was um, he was trying to go for a spring ride. Maybe capitalize on the Yeah, lab. disclaimer. Nothing with HSG, but like... Even Trump didn't say very many stupid or silly things. Like everything he said at this point has just no. des desensitized me. Where I'm just like, I just I know what you're gonna say now, and it's just it's not even funny anymore. It's just not funny. It's just stupid and it's sad, and I don't like it. But I think it's it's kind of sad that the selection. He basically with what he's been saying, kind of a giveaway. They're, they're both they're both pretty silly. I would just say the best comment of the night is saying that nobody has respect for more women. So nasty. Man. <laughs> you really can't make it up. You really can't. I mean, it's just insane. Not to mention, you deny things that you blatantly have been doing wrong. Though. You know what? Who cares? The great beast man. He is. Can He's I say? a genius. Like, what can I say? Calling him stupid is so like un. So like not true. Not a dumb guy. Not a not a dumb guy, but not a good. But what do you, the guy. thing, the controversial thing, controversial things that he said it is politics. I think that's my at least my opinion. I mean, it's not even like good controversial. Like, could have done it like at least interesting. But he knows that a lot of people in America aren't educated and want to hear that. I guess that's the worst part. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. They want to hear it. Can't build a wall. It's like do that, Yuri. It's like getting like. <laughs> that's not like the most like. I guess he's trying to get like the most like animalistic response out of people, and he's like, yes, it's gonna work. Like he's trying to rile people up. He's trying to. He's trying to get people riled up, and he's done it. He's done a good job. Speak. He's trying to get people riled up. Okay, he's done a good job. Perfect. See now we can hear each other. That's perfect. Good job. I don't know. Did you even touch it? Or was it just falling down? I must have touched it. Yeah. Because I'm gonna let these fall down. You're trying to cheat me out of a job. As an esports commentator. Are you trying to be an esports commentator? We talked about this before. No, my job is to be in the esports industry at some point. That's what I'm working on. Yo, the end of the Switch uh, reveal. They, uh, the end of the Switch reveal, they had uh, yes, that's right, an yeah. eSports Arena. What, do you, what did you think about that? Which, is that it's, a sign that they're trying to kind of try to support that? Like, no. What could they... It's just a sign that they know eSports is big, and they're like, hey, look at this advertising game. Because uh, <laughs> that's what eSports is mainly right now, is advertising. I don't have a problem with that, because it benefits the thing I love. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, that's a little off topic, but yeah, I am currently... I, I mean, to these companies, what other benefit is there? Other than yeah, advertising for the product. Yeah, because they're not going to build like a game it. purely for the competitive scene. Yeah, there's, there wouldn't be enough sales in that. Yeah, so it just makes sense. Um, well, well it's weird because you say that um, like a bunch of MOBAs are made now just to become an esports monster. That's like, true. Like Battle Right is a fun game, but that game was made because people wanted to make an esports. How can you be an esports commentator? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Like, how do you get a job career in it? You do it. I mean, there's people that I don't you know level how. up. I would love to do that. Trust me. That you was, come here and you commentate with me. That would be my dream. But I have more realistically, I just want to be involved in it some way. I, maybe event organizations. I like that kind of stuff. I didn't have a degree until, or like a major until earlier this summer. Because I was just taking your communications, classes. right? That's what I'm doing, yeah. Because I asked the woman, I straight up said, I was like, look, this is what esports is. How do I get into it? That's all. I'm and you also go from a business side. Because like, look what at I'm this saying. guy right here. He he made this little shop here. And, yeah. And it's picking up. Like, look at look at the turnout. Like, 
I mean, even from a business side in the, the big scheme of esports is, here's the thing, like even if that sounds kind of crazy to some people, esports just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every year. And it's literally like went from something small to a billion dollar industry. So Is it a billion dollar industry? More than that now. I mean, think about it. People like Coke and Red Bull are sponsoring it left and right. So I just didn't know until recently that... Controllers and jerseys and... I, I was just like, yeah, I was just like... I was like, I don't know. Uh, and the way you just said tribe hotels, me media communications. That's true. That's it. I was just, she was just like media communications, and I was like, you know what? That sounds, like, I guess, the most reasonable thing. Because I, I know apparently there's actually more than I thought that you could do with a communication degree. You can do a lot well, with it. Apparently, which is weird, because I don't even know what it's used for other than like some other stuff. Uh, I know, like, I guess a lot of people use it for like social media. Like, it sounds weird, but like running like social media uh, accounts, you know what I mean? Like running like the social media kind of stuff for people. Like it honestly sounds silly, but you know like Arby's and people like that constantly posting like memes and stuff. <laughs> like it's a person who gets paid to do that. Imagine if you're that guy who gets paid to run the Denny's Facebook page that posts old memes from like 2007. You are living the good life. You are sitting at home with your wife. How much is that guy from Denny's really making though? Probably a lot. I mean, they're on social media. <laughs> You, you know it's just like that, because in life it's like, you know, you get the guy that, like, moves stuff, like, all day, every day, back-breaking labor for, like, 20 hours a day, gets paid, like, a couple bananas on the hour, <laughs> but then you got the guy who's sitting at his, go <laughs> like, he's got Diddy Kong tossing him bananas. Making, <laughs> making the Denny's memes, and he's getting paid, like, $45 an hour, or, like, $500 a meme, like, commission work. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, I'm living a good life, dude. They post, like, two a day. Denny's is making bank. I mean, think of, honestly, it's not silly, but they probably do make good money because that's their advertising. Like, people relate to that stuff, even if it's a silly meme. And people are like, Denny's like, look at me, dab. And they got like an egg omelet doing a dab. It's like, that's advertising now. I mean, not holy, but that's what a lot of people do. You know what I mean? That was sick. Wow. I really thought that was going to be a stock for practice. And, yeah, you uh, think. And then, and then it wasn't at all. Did he up here? He did something. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure. All I know is that uh, I currently I need to talk to Sizzle more about it. And um, you know who Friendly Reminder is? Little Mac from South Side of the Hill. They apparently are part of an Overwatch There's thing. a lot of Little Macs. Yeah. Um, they're part of a... They're, they're pretty good Little Macs. Um, they're part of a Overwatch like collective thing. Zorn in it? No. no. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. Zorn is a what? I think so. You mean Sizzle. I Sizzle's the person who's really good at it on console. Well, isn't Sizzle Zorn, bro? Yeah, but so, I don't Zorn, know, Zorn plays it, but not nearly as much as, like, I wouldn't associate it with them more than, uh, more than... No, uh, uh no so sandbagging the, here, just... Yeah, no sandbagging. I like how we did, like, actual legit commentary until Grand Finals and we just gave up. <laughs> well, how are we doing up until then? But, like, that's just, you know what, that's actually good commentary, because that's a sign of the power that Pug West has and the grip he has on Rhode Island. Absolutely insane. This man's number two. I'd say he's number one. Mars just lost. Not even in, in grand finals of loser size. The rise of Kag. What are we saying? What? 